So I finally got around to uh, building um, NVIDIA's VXGI or Voxel GI solution for Unreal Engine. And I uh, just thought we'd take a quick look here. Right now we have uh, all the lights off but an environment outside. Um, it's just casting reflections into my scene. So let's turn on the, uh, the actual environment. And you can see there's quite a bit of bounce light. Let's quick toggle VXGI on and off so you can see what the ambient light uh, is doing. So VXGI toggle is under the post process. We can slide down to VXGI options, turn it off, back on, and you can see what Voxel GI is doing for our scene just with a little bit of ambient uh, in there. So let's turn on one more light. We have the sunlight itself. So we'll go up here and turn on the effects world. And now we actually have a, the directional light included. And we can move that around and get a sense of how that's bouncing GI around. Now we can improve the GI a little bit um, and reduce frame rate. Let's just take a quick look at our FPS. It is not speedy but I have some settings cranked up here. So let's go back to the post process down to VXGI and you can see I have 24 uh, tracing cones. This is the primary quality setting so it defaults to 8. I believe it's 8. You can get a much faster frame rate so that you can see I'm getting, uh, by the way I'm on a 980 um, it's not overclocked, standard uh, standard 980, GTX 980. Um, so 50 frames a second, it's not too bad, and it's still giving us nice bounce, and it feels pretty nice. The higher you go, the better detail you get. So if we go to 16, we'll get a little tighter detail in, in the, the GI calculations. If we go to uh, 64, we'll get terrible frame rate, but much more accurate uh, GI solution. So we're down to 10 frames a second. Uh, let's go, let's get out of there. Um, 16. So that's pretty good. Um, so this is all real time. We can quick play, move around, get a sense of what it's, what it looks like. We have screen space reflections on. Unfortunately, capture cubes are not working with Voxel GI right now, so we have to rely on screen space reflections for all that. Uh, we also have some stuff in the scene. Let's turn the turn the direct light off. So we'll turn off our sun, and you can also turn off VXGI on any one of the light sources. So you can see now the sun is losing its um, contribution uh, to GI. But let's just turn it off altogether. Effects world. And now we're gonna turn on one of these uh, one of these lights. So these are custom lights that have pitch yaw and uh, other controls. So let's turn it on. We can pitch those lights and get bounce light in real time. Yaw it around. You get the you get the idea. It's pretty awesome. It definitely, as you know, I'm a big VR nerd and um, it's definitely not frame rate friendly for VR until maybe we get uh, SLI going. But uh, actually let's quick turn on all our track lights. And now we have fully dynamic GI scene with all the track lights. Anyway, that's that's it. Check out the next video. I'll talk to you later. Bye.